Patuloy na nangangalap ang De La Salle University ng Pondo at Blood Donation para sa former student athlete nilang si Yan Lariba. Na-diagnose si Lariba ng acute myeloid leukemia, isang uri ng cancer sa dugo. Bago niyan, ilang beses naging MVP at Athlete of the Year si Lariba sa UAP. At siya din ang naging kauna-unahang representative ng Pilipinas sa table tennis competition sa Olympics. Here to tell us more about LaSalle's efforts for Yan is one of her good friends, Camila Sagin. And Camila is one of the organizers of the hashtag Kaya Mo Yan campaign. Camila, thank you so much for coming here to the score. My fellow De La Salle Zabel uh, alumnus uh, and La Salle uh, alumnus as well um, and law student in her fourth year. Uh, welcome to the score. Hello. Thank you for coming here. I know um, it's not under the best circumstances dahil uh, ang athlete who is um, recognized and well-loved by the entire uh, table tennis community, La Salle community, Yan Lariba, we learned recently that she has acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, Camila, be, being one of her close friends, kailan mo nalaman na may condition pala si uh, Yan na ganon? Actually, uh, she was confined last week, but we all thought that it, it's just dengue. We didn't think that it would be a AML right away. So there, but after a, a few tests, it was confirmed by her mom last Monday that mm -hmm. she has a uh, AM. Yan is um, an incredible athlete. Sa kabuuan ng kanyang UAP career, hindi siya natalo sa UAP in table tennis. Two-time UAP Athlete of the Year, three-time MVP. Months before learning about her condition, may nakita ka bang problema na baka may sakit or condition itong si Yan? Ano? Uh, as far as I know, she was perfectly healthy. Uh, I think most most of the people around her also didn't think that, you know, that something was wrong with her. Uh, just at the time that it was already near last week, where she had difficulty, um, she was tiring easily already. Mm -hmm. That that that's about it. But as far as I know, she was. Did you she have was fine. Did you have any conversations with her? That was um, was she in a joyful mood or was she telling you na? Um, baka may nararamdaman siyang iba or wala naman? Uh, no, nothing like that. Nothing at all. Okay. So, now, syempre, uh, nung kumalat ang balita, everybody's trying to gather now. Everybody's trying to rally behind Yan because she's a great athlete, promising talent. Um, could you tell us how everybody can help Yan with her condition right now? Um, so, uh, yesterday we started a shirt selling mm -hmm. campaign uh, already for her. So for, for more details on that or donations to, directly to the family, they can visit uh, our Facebook page. That's DLSU Sports. We posted all the uh, publications already and all the instructions are already there. And I know Sinasir Noong Kalanog, Ms. Joy Lanting of La Salle are, are really uh, focusing all of these efforts para matulungan si Yan. What has the entire La Salle community uh, done? I, I, you're in La Salle and yeah. do, do you feel that the entire community, the students, the people behind the institution are really rallying behind Yan para matulungan siya dito. Yeah, definitely. The response, especially like we started a campaign yesterday, mm. the response is very overwhelming and we're very happy that a lot of people, especially you know, Lasallians, are really helping out Yan. So mm. we're very, uh, we really appreciate all the help right now. Camila, being, being a friend of uh, Yan's, I just want to ask, um, how is Yan as a person, yung kanyang personality off the table tennis competitions. Well, she's a very, you know, happy person, you know, mm. and, but most of all, what you, what really stands out with such a great athlete like Yan is she's very down to earth, you know, she's very humble in in a lot of ways. And, siyempre, sa ugali ni Yan, bilang isang table tennis player na hindi natalo sa kabuan ng kanyang UAP career, siyempre hindi siya magpapatalo despite having this condition. Yeah, you know, she went undefeated in her UAP career. Mm. This is just, you know, another battle that she has to face. And, you know, as we all say that, you know, Yan can remain undefeated in this mm. battle as well. Mm. So that's what we're all hoping for, that, you know, she re maintains her winning streak, you know, just remain undefeated. Camila, I've seen the hashtags, I've seen the reaction of, of the people on social media, yung hashtag Kaya Mo Yan. So how is it for you being somebody who spearheaded this campaign? Ano yung mga 
pinaka-touching na messages na nakita mo on social media? I think it's just the overall, you know, how how she affected also other people and mm. right now they want to give back to what mm. she has done also for Lasal or for the for the Philippines that she was able to represent. So just re very overwhelmed. Like uh, I'm just really happy that people responded right away to our, you know, call mm. for help, mm. you know, for donations. Mm. Just just really happy, generally happy for it. For Aside from the T-shirt campaign, is Lasal going to hold any event para matulungan pa itong si Yan? Yeah, we're already planning or organizing a couple of events. Uh, one would be most likely we'll, we'll be holding a, an auction. Mm. So this would involve athletes and maybe celebrities, you know, to to help uh, and also funding uh, Yan's medical expenses, as well as maybe exhibition matches and a concert. Some, something like that, you know. We're, we're still in a organizing stage, but once everything's fixed, you know, we'll be able to uh, post stuff online already so people can know more about it. And people can check all these details out yeah. on the Facebook account, which is, could you kindly share uh, what the Facebook account um, is so everybody can check it out? That is just DLSU Sports on Facebook. We also disseminate lots of our information on Twitter. So that's also um, just at uh, DLSU Sports on Twitter. All right. Uh, Camila, what is the latest update on, on Yan? Were you able to talk to her recently? Kamusta siya? Um, well, visitors are not allowed mm -hmm. right now. But uh, she, the last time that uh, you know, someone was able to visit, she was in high spirits. Mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, and she underwent her first uh, chemotherapy today. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that her, you know, she responds well to the, to the therapy. If you have a message for your friend, Yan, uh, ano yung magiging mensahe mo sa kanya if you had a chance to speak with her now? Uh, just that, you know, remain undefeated, Yan. You've, you've done it before and I'm sure this is a battle that you can also still win, you know. Uh, at Yan, uh, believe kami sa inyo, um, you've been undefeated your entire career at nananawagan po kami sa lahat ng mga taga-suporta ng Philippine Sports, Table Tennis Community, Lasallian Community to help ating kababayang si Yan Lariba sa kanyang laban kontra sa AML. Camila, Thank you so much. Is there anything more you want to add uh, para matulungan itong kaibigan natin si Yan, si Yan uh, Lariba? Uh, I would just like to tell everybody to just continue to visit our, our page for continuous updates on how they can help Yan in, in all the ways that's possible. You know? All right. Well, thank you very much, Camila, for taking on such a noble cause and best of luck with you with your uh, law studies as well. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much, Camila. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.